Alright, so as you guys know, we are in Vegas right now. I'm high-key, like, sneakily doing this because I can get in trouble for where I'm videotaping. But we're having so much fun. We went to a buffet tonight. It was great. Right there, it says the buffet, right? Like, we went to a buffet. Great. Wait for more. Okay, so this vlog is going to be all over the place. It is actually the next day right now, and <laughs> the first day we got here, it was a disaster because we stayed up all night, so I was like super tired. So we pretty much, after that last clip, went back to the hotel, fell asleep. I actually slept for like 13 hours, and so now it's the next day. It's the nighttime right now. How pretty this all is right now, though. Ooh. We're about to go inside the Bellagio and actually gamble for the first time. We've been here now for like 24 hours. Gamble and win some? Yeah. No. He's like, nah, I ain't gonna win anything. I'm gonna That's win you, and you, and you. Might have been the creepiest thing I've ever witnessed. Yo, check that out. This is all real flower right here. This is so crazy. That my backyard. This is kind of interesting. Last time I was here, this was all being remodeled, and he was telling me that the TV show Tanked just did like a whole renovation here, and I guess they made this tank right here. I might be wrong about this, but it's supposed to be somewhere in this section, but I don't see it anywhere. It gets added every year. Yeah, they change it. Cause like I said, the last time I was here, the whole thing was under construction. You really couldn't come in this area, so. And you bring a walkthrough right here. Yeah. They change it for all the seasons, like summer, spring, fall. You guys know it's Vegas. You can't really film the casinos. I think some of them you can, but they're pretty strict here. So we just walked out. I cashed out with $39. How much do you think I spent? I think I spent like 20 maybe. So I walked away with like 20. I was doing good. So my logic, like I always tell you guys, is you spend five bucks in each machine. And for the most part, I think the most I ever spent was like 12 and one, and then we just kept winning like 10, 20, 15. And here we are, we got freaking $40. All right, we're about to go to the next one though. Cosmopolitan. Okay, so we're gonna do like a little social experiment right now. I'm gonna go and just honk at people and see how many people we can get to look in what, a minute? Yep. We'll do a minute. Someone put a minute on their phone. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Maria! 14. 15, 16, 17. Go, 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 go. One, two. Got him. Got you. Sorry. Ooh, all right. So it's probably like two hours later right now. We just dropped our car off. I'm telling you, this day and this vlog is like all over the place. But we dropped the car off because we have to have it returned by like early morning tomorrow. So anyways, back to the casino. I went there. My logic, like I said, is I put $5 in the machine and I did that for two hours. I was up, I don't know, maybe like 50 bucks and I only spent probably 10 or 15 of my own money and you know, two hours later, I lost it all. What are you gonna do? That's Vegas in a nutshell. You basically just come here to spend money. But it's been a good day because I only spent 15 bucks and I was planning to spend a lot more. So we'll see what tomorrow's like. We'll see if I lose a lot tomorrow, win a lot. But we got an Uber back to our hotel now. When you spend all of your money in Vegas, so you're stuck homeless. Come on, honey, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> when you gotta have fun at the rental car center and you got no money. <laughs> this is our Uber. Yo, welcome back today guys for another episode. So it is like day three or day four in Vegas. I don't know. This whole like last couple days has been all over the place because I've honestly just been, my whole sleep schedule has been like completely messed up and everything. But uh, we've been having fun in Vegas. You know, we've just been out here gambling, drinking. He went, they're going to shows and stuff. I didn't go to any shows. But today we actually leave. We leave tonight. Vegas is one of those things where it's like you come for three, four days and that is it. Maybe like two days even. Because Vegas, all you do is spend money, wait money and just drink alcohol but uh shout out to Excalibur for hooking us up with this room uh, if you guys ever come here come to this hotel they hooked us up because I'm an influencer they gave us this nice ass suite in here look at this room let me give you guys a little quick tour here you got like this open shower Josh could watch me while I'm showering how do you feel about that 
Yes, no. Oh, he's got that smile. Look at that smile, though. <laughs> and then we got this tub right here. This huge, huge bed. And then out there are two more people, Nicole and Robbie. They're sleeping out there, and it's like a whole living room. But I think we're about to go try and find some food. Man, because I'm starving. I'm really hungry. I got to get some food. Also, check out the weather today in Vegas. 99. The high is 106. Good thing we're not going to be here the whole next week. Look at the weather. It's going to be in the high hundreds the whole next week here. But I don't know if you guys remember, a few days ago, we went to Walmart and we got Maria, this inflatable thing. And we, the reason we bought this is for Vegas. Now, we're going to try and take this thing to the pool, I think, today. And I don't know, just just try and capture some reactions and see what people say about this thing. Maria, you look a little deflated. I don't know what's going on. It looks like you're just, you're just dying over here. How long did it take you to blow that thing up? <coughs> Like 45 fucking minutes. 45 minutes? More like a couple hours. It's, this guy sat in the bed and he just blew it up for a couple hours. Like he's acting like it was 45 minutes. No, he, he, was. he was. I fell asleep as part of it too. Alright, well, it seemed a lot longer than that. Honestly, though, if I would have blown it up, I would have passed out. Legit. I did. I blew it up and I fell asleep. <laughs> We're about to show them what you're doing right now. No, you're not. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah. What are you doing in here? What are you talking about, man? I'm not doing shit. Yeah, what is, why is the sink filling up and there's bubbles in there? Because <laughs> I'm making a bubble bath. <laughs> you want to take a bubble bath in that? Yeah, no. I'm washing clothes. <laughs> this dude is washing his clothes inside the sink. Hashtag ghetto. Hashtag, um, no. Nah, I'm just messing with him. But hey, if you got to wash your clothes that way, you got to do that. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's probably really expensive actually to wash your clothes here. It's probably like 25 bucks for three pieces of clothes. Wake up. Fold them up like a hot dog. Yo, how does that not hurt? It does. It does. <laughs> I would be like so dead if someone did that to me. <laughs> We're filling the bathtub up right now for Maria so we can put her in there. Maria's going into the bath for the first time. We're about to make a huge bubble bath. Look how many bubbles we have. We're gonna have this thing overflow up here with bubbles. Look how many soaps Josh has. Josh, do you collect these when you go to hotels? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Why do you have so many? Just in case you ever go homeless, you gotta have backup. You're literally like my dad. Dad, if you're watching this, this is you right here. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, dude, you have so many. Like, you could wash a whole entire hotel with all these. Your attention, please. We are currently investigating the alarm signal you are hearing. Please remain calm. <laughs> we will keep you apprised once we have determined the source of the alarm. Okay, real life. <laughs> The fire alarm just randomly started going off. I thought I did this. I was about to be like, oh, I gotta go. <laughs> we gotta evacuate. Come on. We gotta leave. I gotta leave. Maria. Maria. I see Maria's outside. We are currently investigating the alarm signal. Maria. Are you anywhere? Maria. We will keep you apprised. No, Maria's not anywhere. Maria. Hold on, hold on. So this is probably like I don't know eight or ten different shampoos and conditioners. We filled this whole thing up. I was just saying we should have had like a lot more. We should have bought some at the store and just filled this whole thing up. But we're, we just put some in now, so hopefully in like ten minutes it'll be even more. They're about to get in too, all four of the, or all three of them. And we're gonna see if we can all fit in here. This shit is about to literally overflow. Wait, but if we both get in, it's definitely gonna overflow. <laughs> yeah. We also put some in the shower over there too. We're gonna see if we can fill that up. I don't know if it's gonna work though. <laughs> the cum shot. Oh my. <laughs> fun doing that this is pretty much the aftermath of the whole entire thing let me show you guys look at this we got this thing all the bubbles completely gone whole floor completely soaked i don't know if uh, maria from housekeeping is gonna be too happy about cleaning this up floor soaked here we got uh you know maria the inflatable right in front of the door but a uh, shout out to the excalibur for hooking us up with this room you're probably never gonna want to hook me up again with a room after this a little bit of an update the plans have completely changed so earlier i said we were supposed to leave 
tonight back to Denver and this was still in the works but I didn't tell you guys yet but we're actually going to be going to uh, San Francisco later on tonight because a fan one of my really dedicated fans, she was, she wanted to take me to this baseball game. And I said, yeah, sure, I'll come. She's basically hooking me up with tickets. And she has a, actually has another extra ticket. So uh, Josh is coming along too for the journey. But this is the thing, we're driving with her family there. And then we fly from San Francisco back to Denver. So we're gonna be there for like three, four days. If any of you guys live there, hit me up. Maybe I'll do a meetup, I don't know. But the plans always change. I do things so spontaneously. How do you think this is gonna go? Uh, if you don't see this, we died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you guys don't see any vlogs for the next couple days, something really bad happened to us. And over here, though, he's taking a selfie. My camera's not focusing though.